this one, Samuel back in the pot garden. Right, so these videos are coming thick and fast now. Uh, plenty of things happening. Um, I've sowed a few more seeds, and the ones I've done are well. I've had a final pull up of my garlic from this bed. Uh, well, from this pot container. Uh, so it became empty so I'd hate things to just sit around and do nothing so I don't know if you can see it but I've split it in half and in, these are sort of experimental things that I'm not sure I like so I'm only doing half a container but in that half there that half I've got Callaloo which is like spinach type plant so I've sown a few seeds in that half and in that half if I can put there you go in that half there I've planted some perpetual spinach uh, so we'll see how that goes and in this container I've sown some sorrel. See what that tastes like. Sounds interesting. So we'll see how that is. Um, and in a little pot, um, which I've got in the house, I've sown some fennel seeds. So I'll let them grow a bit, and then I think I'll probably plant them in that bed over there because uh, there's no room over here it's all full uh, beets that I transplanted the other day are doing very nicely as I think everything is um, so that's a update on what I've sown um, one of the videos I saw uh, some fella, I think it was Ian Nocton, had a little problem in his greenhouse and basically what he had was, and I had it, I have it myself, um, I need to go around the other side. Um, basically this is my this here is my uh, invitation. Uh, oh, there's a slug. Get rid of him. Sorry, snail. Um, this is my. If I can get. There. Yeah, this is my invitation swede. This. Uh, doing rather well. Not too badly, but he was having this sort of thing where something was taking little nibbles out of his leaves um, and he didn't know what it was um, but I think I might have found out what it is and the thing he has to do is go underneath the leaf which I have here so as you can see it's been nibbled wholly and if I move that leaf out of the way there's the culprit sorry get yeah right there's the culprit there caterpillars uh, and I've got quite a few um, so just grab all of them so that's the fella there, pesky little caterpillar, 
and I've got quite a few. Uh, right, try and get rid of them. Um, I've got a few. Uh, basically, uh, you've got to look underneath the leaf, uh, which I did there, and I found a little critter. Um, but I notice also that my turnips were getting nobbled, nibbled, nobbled, whatever, um, as well. Not enough to destroy it, but certainly enough to make it look unsightly and basically all you have to do is and I did see another critter uh, just bear with me while I have a quick rummage around yeah see it there's that's the eggs I think um, and it's hard to see uh, but right at the tip of my thumb is a very tiny caterpillar and they are the little blighters that are probably causing all these holes because they're certainly appearing on mine and there you go get this leaf back he's slightly bigger but I think Ian that is your problem tiny caterpillars and obviously and oh there's a little batch of eggs that have hatched to produce these very tiny little caterpillars hope I'm in focus but yeah that's what's causing it little baby caterpillars or some sort of caterpillar I uh, haven't really affected my crop because they're, they're there doing all right but I think that's what's causing your problem again so hope that helped and uh, as I say with me not having a great deal well I say I don't have a lot of plants I do have a lot of veg but I can keep mine under control a lot easier than you can if you've got a large greenhouse with loads of plants. So there you go. Hope that helped and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.